Hello. Welcome to my channel. In this lecture, we'll learn how to make a fireball and explode it in Blender. Let's get started the lecture. Press Shift A and add a UV sphere. Right click and make shade smooth. Press Shift A and add a plane. Press S key and scale up the plane enough. Press G key, and then Z key to move up the sphere. Let's add quick explode effect to sphere. Go to object menu, go down to quick effects and select the quick explode. Play the animation. As you can see, the UV sphere is fracturing and the particles falling down. We can make some settings in the explosion. To do that, click on the particle properties tab. Firstly, set the total number of particles to 70. Set the seed value to 1. Set the explosion starting frame to 20. Also, set the end frame of the explosion to 20. So, the explosion is going to start at frame 20. However, the particles go through the plane. We want the particles collide with the plane. To do that, select the plane, click on the physics properties tab. Click on the collision. Set the damping value to 0.8. So, the particles won't be bounced much on the plane. Set the surface friction to 0.7. Also set the randomized values to 0.1. Let's play the animation. As you can see, the particles collide with the plane. But, we need stronger explosion. So, the particles should scatter further. To do this, select the sphere, and click on the particle tab. Go to velocity section. Set the surface normal starting velocity to 10. Also, set the randomized value to 4. Let's play the animation again. It looks good. But the particles disappear at frame 50. We can set the particle lifetime to 120. Also set the end frame of the timeline to 120. Let's add some thickness to the particles. Go to Modifier menu, and add Solidify modifier. Set the thickness value to 0.02. It is time to add fire and smoke simulation. First of all, we need a domain object which determines boundary of the fire and smoke simulation. Go to the last frame of the animation. Press Shift A and add a cube. Press C key and switch to wireframe mode. Press numpad 7 key and go to top view. Scale up the cube so that contains all particles. Click on the physics tab and add fluid. Switch the fluid type to domain. Domain type will be gas. Resolution value controls how quality the fire and smoke will look. The higher you set this value, the better it will look, but the longer it will take to bake. Let's set the resolution to 128. Go down to gas section and set the vorticity value to 0.15. This enables turbulence and rotation in smoke. Enable the Dissolve option. Set the Dissolve speed to 20. It means, the smoke will last 20 frames before it dissolves. Also enable the Slow option. So, the smoke will have slower dissolving time. Enable the Fluid Noise. In the Cache section, set the simulation end frame to 120. So, the simulation baking will last 120 frames. Specify custom folder to save your baking data. So, you won't lose your baking data even if you close Blender. Switch to cache type to modular, 
and enable the is resumable option. So, we will able to bake all domain modules separately. After the domain settings, let's animate the sphere, and add fire and smoke to the sphere. Select the sphere and go to frame 1. Press numpad 1 and switch to front view. Press G key and move the sphere to top left corner of the domain. Hit the I key and add location rotation keyframe. Go to frame 20, and move the sphere so that almost touches the plane. Press double R key and give random rotation. Then, hit the I key again, and add location rotation keyframe. Let's play the animation. As you have noticed, the sphere slowed down before hitting the plane. It is because the blender uses smooth curve interpolation. To fix this problem, split the new window, and switch to graph editor. Go over the animation graphic, and press A key to select all keyframes. Press T key, and set the keyframe interpolation to linear. Let's play the animation again. There we go. Close the graph editor. It is time to add fire and smoke for the sphere. Go to physics tab, click on the fluid. Switch the fluid type to flow. Switch the flow type to fire and smoke. Set the flow behavior to inflow. Set the sampling substeps to 7. So, it will improve quality of the fire and smoke. Enable the initial velocity. It is important flow source section. The flow source should be mesh until the sphere explodes. After collision and scattering the sphere, the flow type should be particle system. So, we need to animate this property. To do that, go to frame 19, click on the little dot next to flow source property. It will add a keyframe. Go to frame 20 and switch the flow source to particle system. Select the particle system for the sphere. Click on the little dot again and add a keyframe. Finally, set the surface emission to 0, and volume emission to 0.5. It will enable the fire emission from inside of the sphere, not from surface. Now, it is time to bake. Select the domain, and click on the bake fluid data. Scroll down to Noise section, and Bake Noise Data. The baking process has done. Let's play the simulation. There we go. It is time to shading. Select the sphere. Click on the shading workspace. I want to render with Cycles Render Engine. It will be slower but more realistic. Enable the Viewport Denoise option. All of these nodes are for the movie map of the Explode modifier. We're not going to need those. Select all of them and delete. Switch to Render Preview Mode. On the Shader Editor, press Shift A and add Emission Shader. Plug the Emission node to the Surface node. Add a noise texture. We need a color amp converter also. Plug the nodes correctly. Set the noise texture scale value to 20, and set the detail value to 10. Select the black color and slide it to right. Select the white color and slide it to left. Change the white color into orange. Set the emission strength to 5. There we go. It looks nice fireball now. Now, let's shading for the fire and smoke. Select the domain. Click on the new button and add new material. Select the principled shader and delete. Press Shift A and add principled volume shader. Plug the volume node to volume node of the material output. 
Set the black body intensity to 10. Set the smoke density to 10. We can make the smoke color darker. Let's play the simulation. It looks nice. We need a light source. Switch to solid view. On the viewport, press Shift A and add a point light, press G key and move up the light. Switch to render preview mode again. Click on the object data properties tab, and set the light power to 1000 watt. Go to world properties menu, and set the strength value to 0.3. We need a camera to get render also. Press Shift A and add a camera. Press Ctrl Alt Numpad 0, and align the camera to view angle. Press G key to move the camera, or G and click mouse wheel to zoom. After adjusting the camera angle, click on the Render Properties tab. In the Render section, set the maximum sample value to 64. Be sure that Render Denoise is enabled. Click on the Output Properties tab, set the resolution to 720 pixel. Select Output File Path. Choose the file format as AVI JPEG. Go to Render Menu, and Render Animation. It may longer take time according to your computer performance and render settings. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.